Well, hello again, everyone. Professor Prophet coming to you from Crafts University with session 25 in our $10,000 challenge. Our $10,000 challenge is to win 10 grand in one month playing craps. We'll play one session a day, which will be 31 sessions. And by the end of that 31 sessions, the goal is to have $10,000 in profit. Through 24 ses uh, sessions, uh, we are sitting at $8,400, so we're closing in on our goal. And in session 25, we'll be looking to win another $400 and get even closer to the goal of 10,000. So we're gonna start off tonight as we always do with a $1,500 buy-in, that's $1,000 in the black, $400 in the green, and $100 in the $5 red chips. So let's go ahead and get these things uh, racked up, moved out of the way, and get started. If you enjoy this series or have enjoyed it, and We'll continue to come back and if you haven't subscribed, we ask that you do that. And also give us a thumbs up uh, as you watch these and enjoy them. And if you have any suggestions or questions as to uh, ways we might be able to tweak this to make it even better, uh, we're always open to hear your opinions on this, so don't be shy. We're going to go ahead, we're at a $25 table, put down a pass line and a don't pass line bet, which you've got to have one of those down to uh, throw the dice. We definitely want to be throwing the dice uh, betting at these levels. So we put both of those down. The only way we can lose is if we throw a, uh, a 12 on the come out roll. Uh, the don't pass would be a push and then we would lose the uh, pass line bet. But that's okay. We're willing to take that risk. It's a pretty small risk. And that enables us to throw the dice without having that money at risk. We just want to concentrate on the place bets up here in our system. So we're going to start off with uh, two units on everything. That's $320 across. We've got $50 on the four and five, $60 on the six and eight, and then another $50 on both the nine and 10. We've been having some success with uh, our new set, the 3635 V set. So we're going to go ahead and try that again. The three six is on the left hand die, the three five on the right hand die. So we'll be throwing left handed. We're going to stick right one. Uh, if you're throwing uh, right-handed, you'd want to be at stick left one, and that enables us to get as close as we can to the back wall, and we feel like that gives us a little more control and a little better chance of success. And we are going to have the button on. We want our place bets working on the come out roll. No reason for them not to be. And uh, see if we can get off to a good start here and get a score hit on our first throw using the three finger overhand grip over over top of the dice grip with the thumb underneath. And we've got our wrist cocks. So we can get a little back spin on those dice as they head towards the back wall. And we do take a slight uh, bring our hand back just a little bit, maybe three or four inches in a pendulum throw. And the goal is to uh, stop the speed on the dice as they hit the play field where they just kiss the wall and stay pretty close to the wall and stay close together and that way we don't get much randomness in our throw. So here's the first throw, here we go. Seven out, so that's a wonderful start. One throw, you're down $320. <laughs> so uh, in this system, uh, we're gonna go ahead and double our bets up to four units. And uh, if we happen to throw a seven before we uh, have a score hit, uh, this session will be over mighty quick. It'll be over right then. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put four units on each number, 640 across, and uh, hope we can get some score hits and we'll be done quickly. Okay, get these down out of the way. Again, the button is still on, still working. And uh, these two bets, since we threw a seven, we won the pass line bet, we lost the don't pass. So it's just a wash, so we'll leave those alone. Get the dice set here. There's three, six, three, five. And really need a hit here. Dice are in hand. There's five, one, six. That's a hundred and forty dollar hit. So that's a good one. We like that. Get a little of our money back. We're still uh, in the hole pretty badly, but got to start somewhere. Let's move the button over 
here the puck over to the six. Pick up our two outside numbers as part of our system. Score hits, get those out of the way. And let's see if we can hit another number. Three, six, three, five. Let's try it again. Get an inside number here. Five four, the center field nine. Another hundred and forty dollar hit. So we're going to do hundred and fifty. Get ten and change. Get that out of the way. Pick up our two outside numbers, the five and the nine. Got a roller there. Pick those up, and that leaves just the six and the eight at risk. If we can hit uh, hit one of those numbers be a good round for us. So, see if we can get that done here. Nicer in hand. Here we go. There's the 6-2 easy 8. So that's another $140 winner. And that also completes that level. So uh, in this system, when you complete levels, that's when you're making money. Put that up, and uh, these will reduce down now to four units to two units. So get that up out of the way. Leave that down. I think we're going to need some change. Go ahead and get that done. Two hundred and change. Okay. Units on everything. And again, this is uh, where you do not want to throw that seven. And another 320 out here. We've done that once with the fully populated board. So uh, let's not do it again. Once is enough, right? 3635, here we go. Back at our throwing station, dice in hand. Away we go. All right, three six center field nine. That's a seventy-five dollar or seventy dollar hit. We'll do the seventy-five for five. We'll rack that up. Put that in the casino rack. Pick up our two outside numbers, the four and the ten. Put those in the rack. Three five. Three six. For inside numbers once again. There's another center field nine, so we'll go ahead and get exact change on it this time. Seventy dollars. Get that off. Now take down the two outside numbers. Five and the nine. And so now we just have the six and the eight at risk. If we can keep this going, Let's see if we can get on a little roll here. Nicer in hand. There's another nine. Three, six, nine. Three, six, three, five. So. Let's try it again. Six or eight. Here we go. Off the board. Let's do it again. Three five or three six. That's one thing you don't have to worry about if you have a uh, full size crap table. It's very hard to miss the whole table. So you can do it with just a receiving station. You don't have that big an area to hit. And there's the seven out. Okay, so that's a hundred and twenty dollar loss on that throw. We'll get that out of the way. Of course, we uh, lost our pass line bet, but we did win our no pass bet, no pass bet. So that, that's a wash. So we will leave that out there, and we should have made up uh, 
what we lost in the first round and plus a little extra. So back, back at two units this time. Hit a couple numbers here again, maybe complete a level or two. Okay, once again, turn the uh, button on so the place pits are working. Dice are set. 3635 from stick right one. And once again, we are throwing left handed. Dice are in hand. Throws away. Nice score hit. Six two easy eight. It's a seventy dollar winner. Do the seventy five five exchange. Move the button over to eight. Well, that's, that's the number we need to hit. Pick up the two outside numbers. And on down the road we go. Three six three five. Seven out. That's the gamut. So um, that's another bad, another bad round for us. So that's a loser that round. But we did have a score hit, so rather than doubling up, we're going to stick with the two unit bet and uh, see if we can make it up that way rather than going to our maximum risk. Let's get some more change here. Out of the way, buttons on. There's three, five, three, six. Okay, let's hit a number or two, or three, or ten. All right, there's one of them. Easy eight, so that's a seventy dollar winner. Like that, stack it and rack it. Button back to the eight. Two outside numbers come down. Five. All right, here we go. Looking for an inside number here for a score hit. Score hit. That's another $70 winner. We'll do the 75 for 5. Pick up our two outside numbers, the 5 and the 9. And that is the number, so I'm going to go off and we're going to turn it back on so our placements are working. 3 5, there's 3 6. Looking for a 6 or an 8. And Ooh, that was ugly. Yo, 11, so nobody hurt there. Lose that bet, win that bet, so no harm done. Nice reset. Much better throw. Okay, that's a hard four. That was not a score hit, but uh, that was much better than the last throw for sure. Okay, three, three, six, three, five. Well, what other games do you guys play when you're in the casino? You just stick with craps or you go over to the roulette table, maybe a little blackjack. A lot of people like to just sit 
play the mindless slot games. Those are a lot of fun. I don't play them very often because uh, I happen to sell them. And when I test them, I see how much money you lose, how few times you win. So that's kind of uh, gotten me off the slot machines. Some of the newer ones that have all the video uh, stuff working, you know, the penny ones anyway, those are kind of fun, 369. So uh, I do enjoy those. So that's three throws without a six or an eight. So we're going to go ahead and reduce down to just one unit, take a little risk off of the table. And see if we can go ahead and complete this level. That way, if we do happen to throw a seven, it won't hurt quite as bad. I remember uh, there's a little casino in Vegas called Slots of Fun. And, uh, I think it's still there. Uh, it used to be kind of down where the Stardust was, and Westward Ho and all that. If you're an old timer like I am, from the old days of going to Vegas, uh, you'll know where I'm talking about. But uh, I remember playing uh, one dollar blackjack in there a long time ago, and uh, it was back before they had the uh, automatic shufflers. So the dealer was uh, shuffling cards. It was fairly early in the morning. We're getting coffee and everybody's kind of sitting around waiting for the dealer to finish shuffling. Card six, that's yeah, the winner. And uh, so while we're sitting there watching, we're kind of looking down. We're a couple, couple tables down from a craps table. And uh, somebody at the craps table was hot as a $2 pistol. And they were screaming and yelling and jumping up and down guy sitting next to me looked at me and goes, you know, I think they're having more fun than we are. <laughs> and uh, he was right. They were having a big time down there and we were kind of sitting on our hands. So uh, I decided then I needed to learn how to play craps. So it wasn't much longer after that that I started studying the game a little bit. And, uh, caught the bug, if you will. Okay, we're just one unit now, 160 across out there. So we do not want to throw the seven with the fully populated board. So let's see if we can avoid that. Get a score hit here. Nope, there it is. There's the seven. That hurts whenever you do that. Okay. Still think we probably want a little that round. Not as much as we would have if we'd hit a number or two there. Anyway, that was the uh, that was the first time I really noticed craps in a casino and uh, started started getting interested in playing it. It's lots of fun. Like I said I think they're still there. I don't know if they are uh, anymore with the current state of things, but uh, hopefully they are. It's a it's a fun little casino. Uh, pretty small. We always had a good time when we went in there. When we first started going to Vegas, we used to stay quite a bit at the Stardust, which of course is gone. But um, it was pretty cool. You know, Vegas is uh, really something to see the first first couple times you go. It's just you kind of walk around with your mouth open, if you will, staring at everything. Uh, my wife kind of likes to stay on the strip quite a bit. Likes the Venetian, which we stayed there a few times. We stayed at Treasure Island before, we liked that. Hadn't been there in a while. Uh, but Venetian seems to be the spot that she likes at the moment, so that's where we've been playing. Okay, two units. We're going to turn every, the, everything on. Uh, three, six, three, five is the set. And let's see if we can hit a number. Okay, uh, easy six, two, four, six, do the 75 for five. Uh, we also stay at the uh, Encore sometimes when we go. She likes that. And that's a really a nice place. Uh, pretty high end stuff though. It's, uh, it's not cheap, so uh, you know, it's always nice to win a little money in the casino to help pay for those rooms. 
you can tell by watching this series, uh, although I think this is probably one of the better systems, not the best system I've ever played, you, know, you don't win every time. You know, we've had a couple of a couple of tough runs uh, in our last four or five sessions. And, uh, tables can turn on you quick. There's the easy 10, so nobody hurt there. I think the only time I've, uh, in the last few years, I've been to casino and not played uh, craps I was up at the, uh, the Windstar Casino 426. Windstar Casino up in Oklahoma, and uh, they say it's the world's largest casino, and I don't doubt that it's huge, but um, they had some weird, weird law up there. I don't really understand why they had it, but they actually played uh, craps with playing cards. What they would do, they didn't have any dice in the game. So nobody got to throw the dice, which, you know, pick up those two outside numbers here, which is, in my opinion, that's, that's the game there, is throwing the dice and learning how to throw the dice, and trying to give yourself a little bit of an advantage. But uh, no dice in that game, and what they would do, they had two decks of cards, and they had uh, numbers one through six on, the, on each deck, and they would shuffle the deck, and then they would uh, turn one card over in each pile, and that would be the number. So, it's kind of weird. And so I, I didn't like that too much, so I didn't play it. And then also, uh, roulette, they played it the same way, rather than having the ball uh, going around, they had uh, cards sticking up and slots. So they would uh, roll it, Whatever slot it, it stopped on, they pull the card out, and that would be the number, like black 32 or red 32, whichever it is. And uh, so I thought that was weird, and that's a 3 6 center field 9. And I never really understood uh, the logic in doing that. What I mean, it was still gambling, it was just a little bit different. But uh, so I stayed away from the roulette table that time, too. But uh, I haven't been up there in a, in a couple of years now, I guess. It's my understanding that uh, this is normal now. I know in a lot of the table games, you have to play an ante each hand, like in blackjack, it was 50 cents ante per hand. And uh, you know, I just don't really see any way you can come out ahead if you're having to play a, an ante for each hand. And it was the same, I think, with craps and whatever you're playing. So uh, that made it uh, very difficult to come out ahead. Don't go there often, but uh, it's probably the closest casino to where I live. So I do go some. And like I said, we hadn't been up there in quite a while. We've been to Vegas several times since we've been up there. Vegas is the spot for, for my wife and I. We just really enjoy ourselves up there. So six or eight is what we're looking for. It's way too many. Okay, so that's three throws at least. Really paying attention that much, been talking too much. So we're going to reduce down to one unit and minimize our risk here until we can throw a six or an eight. And if we happen to throw big red, we won't be hurt quite as bad. Nice and hand. Here we go. Here's why we reduced down right there. So we saved ourselves uh, 60 bucks, still lost 60. So let's go ahead and uh, take account, kind of see how we're doing here and see what we need to do to reach our goal of $400 profit. I don't think we've probably made much, if any. That's five, that's 900. Yeah, I don't think we're hardly, hardly breaking even. So that's a thousand. 11, 12, 13, 25, 75. So yeah, we're probably down you know, 25, 50 dollars. We're not down much. Uh, 
unfortunately we're not up any either. So we're going to go one more round here. I don't want the video to go on too long and uh, then call it a session. So we'll do the two units once again. Hopefully this will be a successful round for us. Out of the way, buttons on, we know what that means. 635. Nice hand. Here we go. Okay, there's a 10. That's a good start. So we'll go by that. Change here. Right that. Right the winnings. The outside numbers come up. Four and ten. Next button there. Straighten up our mess. There's three five. There's three six. Let's see if we can hit another number here. And here we go. Three, two. That would be the no field five. That would be another $70 hit for us. We'll take that. Put that in the rack. Pick up the two outside numbers, the five and the nine. Rack that up. So just the six and the eight at risk now. We're trying to complete the level here. That's the name of the game in this system. We've got to complete those levels. So here's our opportunity. Let's take advantage of it. There's an ugly throw, but a good result. That's 6 2 easy 8. 75 for 5. And that'll complete that level. So now we'll reduce down to one unit. Five on the nine and ten, thirty on the six and eight, and twenty-five on the four and five. Also known as one sixty across. So let's see if we can complete another level here. Nice for set. Let's get score hit here. Here we go. Nope, fully populated board and we seven out. I hate when that happens. And that's the one way you can get wiped out in this system when you keep doing that. And, uh, you know, we keep fighting back and fighting back and then we do it again. And uh, so we just can't seem to, can't seem to get any traction today. So we're going to call that a session. So let's count it up and see where we are. Obviously, we didn't make our $400, but uh, hopefully we made a little bit. Better to make a little bit than to lose, right? So that's a thousand right here in the blacks. Of course, our buy-in was uh, 1,500. So that's 1,100, 12, 13, 14, 50. And that's 1,500. So there's our buy-in. So we do have a little bit of a profit here. Uh, 25, 40, 43 dollars. So let's get a 13. Two of the dealers. 13, of course, being a bad luck number, so maybe that'll get rid of our bad luck. So we end up. Uh, I count that again. That's 500, 1,000. 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 50. 1500 and $30. So uh, session 25, we end up with a $30 profit, which is not a, not a big profit, but uh, the big word in that statement is profit. 
So after 25 sessions in our 31 session series where we're trying to get to $10,000, after 25 sessions we are sitting at $8,430 in profit. So it was a baby step, but it was a step towards that $10,000 goal. We do hope you enjoy joining us for this uh, session and that you'll come back and see us again. Also, if you did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we'd love to have you uh, ride along with us here and see how we do. Uh, once again, if you're out uh, rolling those bones in any casino anywhere, we wish you nothing but the best of luck and may all your rolls be winners. Talk to you again soon. This is Professor Prophet coming to you from Crafts University. Bye-bye.